Hello friends, welcome to Simplified Biology. Today we are going to take an important part of the chapter Morphology of Flowering Plants that is Floral Formula which is very difficult to remember. Floral Formula is actually an abbreviative description of a flower. But the first part of the floral formula that is written is the symmetry of the flower. It tells us whether the flower is actinomorphic or zygomorphic. Actinomorphic is written this way, which means the flower is radial symmetry. It can be divided into two equal halves at any plane passing through the center. While zygomorphic is bilateral symmetry, written this way, where the flower can be divided into two equal halves at only one plane passing through the center. Next to be written is whether the flower is bisexual or unisexual. Bisexual is written this way, while unisexual, if a female flower this way and the male flower this. Next is the calyx, the outermost part of the flower, which is made up of sepals. As calyx appears to be starting with K, so it is written in an abbreviated form of K, where the number of sepals are written below. If the sepals are united, that is gamosepalous, a bracket is formed, and if the sepals are free, no bracket is seen. Inner to the sepals lie the petals or the corolla, which is represented as C. Number of petals is written below. If it is gamopetalous, means the petals are united, it is written in brackets. If the petals are free, there is no bracket. Lying inner to the corolla is the androsium made up of stamens. The abbreviated form of androsium is A. Same, the number of stamens are written below. If the stamens are united, there is bracket. And if the stamens are free, there is no bracket. Innermost part of the flower is the gynosium made up of pistil or carpal, written in the abbreviated form of G. When the number of carpels are written below, if the condition is syncarpus, that is carpels are united, a bracket is given. If the carpels are free, that is epocarpus, there is no bracket. If the ovary is superior, a line is drawn below the alphabet G. This is for the superior ovary. And if the ovary is inferior, a line is drawn above the letter G. These are the four families that we are going to study today, three of which are have been described in NCRT, while fourth is given in a figure. Now let's go to the details of how to remember the floral formula of the four families. First is the symmetry of the flower. Now, in case of Fabaceae, the zygomorphic condition is seen, while in Solanaceae, Liliaceae, Brassicaceae, all are actinomorphic. So, the only difference that you have to remember is that Fabaceae is zygomorphic, while others are actinomorphic. Next, whether they are bisexual or unisexual. Now, in this case, all the four are bisexual. Now let's come to the most important part that is the gynosium. Now gynosium in all the cases is hypogynous, means the ovary is superior and syncarpus condition is seen, means the carpals are united. Now the three families that are given described in NCRT are Fabaceae, Solanaceae and Liliaceae. Fabaceae has one carpel, Solanaceae has two carpels, Liliaceae has three carpels, and in all the cases they are united. Brassicaceae too has two carpels 
and they are united. Now next come to Calyx, Corolla and Androsi. In Fabaceae, all the three are pentamerous, means they are the multiple of five number. In Solanaceae too, pentamerous condition is seen, multiple of five. In Liliaceae, they are trimerous, that is multiple of three. While in Brassicaceae, they are tetramerous, that is multiple of five. Now let's go to the detail of each family, starting with Fabaceae. First is zygomorphic, means the flower can be divided into two equal halves at only one plane passing through the center. Next, they are bisexual. Calyx, five, these are the calyx, five united. Corolla are five, but they show one plus two plus two arrangement. Means they have a large standard petal, as two wing petals and two keel petals that are slightly united. This is the characteristic of family Fabaceae, that is papillonaceous flower. That is, they are butterfly shaped. Androsium, there are 10 stamens, nine of which are united and one is free. This is known as diadelophus condition, which is again a characteristic of family Fabaceae. And gynosium, there is one carpal and the ovary is superior. So to identify the family Fabaceae, two main things are the flower is papillonaceous, butterfly shaped and diadelophus stamens. Vexillary estivation is seen. So these three characteristics help us to identify the family Fabaceae. Next, Solanaceae. Actinomorphic means the flower can be divided into two equal halves at any plane passing through the center. The flowers are bisexual. Calyx sepals are five united. Corolla petals are five. They too are united. Androsium stamens are five. But in this case, epipetalous condition is seen which we can see here, that the stamens are fused with the petals. This is the characteristic of family Solanaceae, epipetalous stamens. Gynosium, the number of carpals are two. United, superior ovary and exile placentation is C. Next is Liliaceae. These two are actinomorphic, means divided into two equal halves at any plane passing through the center. Bisexual. In family Liliaceae, instead of two accessory whorls, a single accessory whorl can be seen, and that is known as perianth, represented as P, and whose individuals are known as tepals. So there are six tepals but arranged in two worlds, that is three plus three. And there are three, six stamens, that two are arranged in two worlds, and it's written as three plus three. The stamens are fused with the tepals, hence epiphyllous condition is seen. Gynosium, carpals three, united, superior ovary, with exile placentation. So to recognize Liliaceae, first are the tepals, second is epiphyllous condition, third they are trimerous, last Brassicaceae or the mustard family. This too is actinomorphic that is divided into two equal halves at any plane passing through the center. Bisexual, calyx are four, arranged in two worlds, so hence written as two plus two. Corolla, that is petals are four. Androsium, stamen six. Two plus four is written. This is tetradynamous condition. Means there are six stamens, two outer are short and four inner are long.
Kynosium carpals to united superior ovary. So tetramerous condition and tetradynamous condition help us to recognize family Brassicaceae. Now let's see all the four families once again. Fabaceae can be recognized by Paplonaceous condition and Diadelophus condition. Solanaceae, it is pentamerous and epipetalous condition. Liliaceae, perianth present, epiphyllous condition and trimerous condition is seen. Brassicaceae, they are tetramerous and tetradynamous condition is seen. Thank you. Thank you for watching.